Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. It's a bit of a crafting life catch up and other stuff to do with the channel. Um, the few finished objects that I've got for you and a bit of chat about what I'm working on. So let's get started. Well, there isn't a lot for me to show you, but there are a few finished objects. It came about that um, in my chores and cleaning I decided one morning early one morning when I couldn't sleep I would go through my whips and see how many I had and what I would do so it worked out I had about 14 whips one of them I froed because I'd had it there so long that the yarn itself had been pushed around so much it looked terrible and I decided I would work on finishing some whips so first one off the rank, because I was really enjoying it and I was progressing with each week's tutorial, is my spring thing throw. I finally did week five and put the border on. It's actually turned out a lot bigger than I thought it would. It's really, really nice. I stalled it after week four because I got visitors um, from Western Australia that I hadn't seen for five years and spent a bit of time with them and then I it was top of the pile and I thought I'm going to finish that because I really like it so I used mandala in the color troll this one um, and the the actual tutorial the five week tutorial is with one the yarn addict there'll be a link in the description below if you want to do it I can highly recommend it I really enjoyed it. It's probably the first one I've enjoyed that's got different stitches in it because whenever I've done those, they never seem to work out. But this one, especially as he does a great job of the stitch count, which is important for me. So, yes, I use Mandala in the colour Troll. Now, Janice from Victoria, friend and subscriber, she sent me three of these and I had one in my stash. And I used, um, they're 150 gram cake and I used three and a bit. Yeah, I've used the center of this one. So I have this left. I don't know if I'll make a matching beanie or whether I'll keep it or whether I'll give it away to charity. I have to measure it. If it's more than 1.2 meters across and 1.2 meters long, then I can't give it to the charity I normally give it to. It's too big. I used a four millimeter tulip hook, which I really liked. And like I said, it took five weeks. I haven't measured the size. Now, our weather has been raining again, windy, not much sunshine. We've had a bit of sunshine today. Hopefully, it'll keep up and I'll be able to get a photo of it. I like to take photos outside so you really can see the colours. But yes, it's big. It's lovely. It, and, the, and this troll really looks nice worked up. Only bit of colour control was if I got to the end of a, a round and there was only a bit left, I decided that's where I'd change the colour and start a new cake. The rest of it just flowed. So that was my first major finished object from my whip pile that I wanted to do. The next one, sorry, I'll just pause it a minute. The next one. I'd forgotten I'd done this. I'd started it about, I don't know, three or four months ago and I made the body. And I must have thought, oh, I'll do all the trimmings later and forgot about it. And then I thought, I'm going to finish that. So I've got an amigurumi to show you. Here he is. He's got his fins are a bit curly at the moment. Everything's curling up. I haven't done anything to block them more yet. But it is the big rainbow fish. By yarn inspirations it is a free pattern on their site I think it's also on Ravelry I might have bit started doing him for World Ocean Day and forgot about him but there you go so he's made in eight ply um, I think this color is called parrot and the red is um, Stylecraft eight ply um, special DK I don't call him the rainbow fish, I call him sweet lips. In the reef, or on the reef, not far off the coast from us, there is a fish called sweet lips that looks a lot like that. And that's why I've called him my sweet lip fish. The sweet lip fish 
lives in shallow parts of the reef, very um, solitary lives. They change colour as they get older. They can be all sorts of colours. And they come out at night to feed off the bottom. I do believe um, anglers who catch them say they are really nice eating fish, but I've never tried one. I'm not sure I want to, but they do have quite big lips. So there you go. If I can find a photo of a sweet lips, I'll put it at the end, um, along with other photos of my projects. But um, yes, I used a three millimeter clover hook and yeah, I'm glad I finished him because I think he turned out really sweet and his eyes were very different to do. There you go, there's sweet lips. So that was my unfinished cows from my a whip wall. Well, it's more a whip basket, they stack high. So, Bod had a palooza. I haven't done one for a while because we've had balaclavas, headbands, things that aren't really fit for purpose for me or bulky yarn, which I don't have a lot of and don't want to buy more of. But there was one, might have been two weeks ago, um, and it's called Unisex Coffee Bean Hat, Tutorial 536 on Bago Day. And here's mine. Ta-da! I made it in this lovely lavender yarn because I found a blanket I've made for charity that's got this colour and yellow. And I thought, oh, I haven't made a beanie, but this isn't the same yarn that I used in the blanket, but it's a pretty close match. So it was Tivoli X Hell from Hobie, this one. I bought it years ago. 100% acrylic. I had two balls of it. It doesn't have a colour number. And I used 77 grams of yarn. So there were two 50 gram balls. Yeah, I think they are. 50 gram balls. So I'll use one in a bit. And I've got a bit of scrap left over. But I really like this. I think it turned out really nice. Um, the blanket I did... Is a bit fem feminine so I decided on doing the hat feminine but you can make it in a manly color and I think it would still look nice it's quite a nice dense hat so make sure you check that one out now stash down I did a report for January February March three month first quarter of getting my stash down so I'm due to do one for the second quarter April May June which wasn't as successful as the first quarter. So April from my stash, I used 418 grams of yarn, 42 grams of scraps, but I purchased 1,994 grams of yarn. So I finished in the red with 1,524 grams owing. April wasn't a great month. May, I was determined to use more. From my stash, I used 1,611 grams Scraps was 180 and I purchased 500 grams of yarn. So I finished in the black with 1,291. June, I used 344 from my stash, 1,020 from scraps and only purchased one ball of 100 grams yarn. So I finished with 1,264. So overall, I did finish that quarter in the black. I used 1,031 grams of my stash yarn, which wasn't huge, but it's still great to finish in the black. So let's hope the third quarter I can really use up some of my stash because I've got no doubt I will be buying yarn overseas. I can't help myself. So that is my stash down report. How's yours going? Let me know in the comments below if you're tracking how much of your stash you use and how much you buy it's still okay to buy yarn just make sure like me when I bought 100 gram ball it's because I wanted it to finish a project or the 1994 was from wool hair house and I have got whips on the go that I was doing for the craft fair that aren't going to be ready but I will finish them so Prizes given out for different make-alongs and things I was doing. First off the ranks, I was looking for Christmas in July, like a secret giveaway. I was just picking one podcaster, one subscriber from random videos for a comment. 
So the podcaster I think I've mentioned before was Jan the Alaskan Alaskan crafter. She always comments on my videos and she has actually done a video of her opening her Christmas in July parcel because it arrived much quicker than I thought. Now the subscriber I picked was from Australia and she doesn't want me to mention her name so I'm going to respect her privacy. She's only been crocheting about three years. She requested if she could have some cake yarn and the, the recommended hook to go with it as she is building her supplies and I was happy to do that. I want to really encourage fiber and someone who is learning. So I think it was four cakes of yarn I sent her and two crochet hooks in different sizes just in case she needed to check her tension and gauge. So I was really happy with my you know not so advertised giveaways and giving them to people who support the channel. Shutterbug AU most of the prizes have been claimed I've got one to go so if you know Sue Smith please let her know she's got to claim her prize. Now I was really happy with the spread because I didn't realize first prize went to Canada, second prize went to the UK, third prize went to the USA and the June prize is Australia. So it was open worldwide and all the prizes went worldwide and I do believe everyone was happy with what they got which is really nice and um, it was a nice finish to the make along. So next year's make along, I've got a lot of great ideas but if I retire my budget won't be as big so there may not be as many prizes. I worked out this year's cost me probably $375 in prizes and I was happy to do that because I'm working but if I retire my income would be a lot less so that's just the way it goes. What do I plan to do in between all the chores while things away? He's having a ball in Spain he's just about to finish his two-week volunteering at this festival. Um, he leaves there on Tuesday today is Monday he's um, had two days of helping pack up. He did a lot of work in the kitchen. He was either on the chopping roster or the washing up roster. He's quite helpful in the kitchen. A lot of the building stuff now that he's 70 is a bit fast him but yeah they they're really happy because he's really great in the kitchen and he does stay two days to help pack up stuff that he can do. But he leaves Tuesday for his next place which is quite a drive and he's going to text me or WhatsApp me and let me know how he's going. But for those of you who have asked, yes, he is having a good time. It's really good for his mental health to get out there and talk to people and meet people because oh, about three years ago he became very withdrawn. Um, Reeves and I felt like sometimes it was like having a ghost in the house. You're lucky if you got three words out of him. So this has been really good for him and that's why we encourage him to go. So I'm going to work on some whips, try and get some more whips done, use up some stash um, before I go overseas because I've got no doubt I will buy more yarn. I can't help myself. And also I've joined another cow. I won't tell you about it because um, I have to see how it goes. It could be a bit beyond me but we'll see. I've also when Shutterbug AU finished I was doing the Shutterbug who's still nameless and I can't make up my mind whether to do a vote on community tab or not with the three most popular names. Let me know in the comments below should I do a poll and get a vote on the three most popular or should I just pick one or let Reeves pick one we like or the th you know tell everyone in the family and let them vote. Let me know whether I should do a poll on my community tab. So part of that was I was doing hip to be square make along and doing squares in similar colors to what was coming out in Shutterbug AU. And now I've decided I want to make my hip to be square blanket a bit bigger. So I've done a couple of squares today in my lunch hour. They're pretty quick. It's the crisscross share square. I realized I've started putting them together and I didn't have much purple and lavender and yeah, it's quite a varied colored but I've done a few more squares. I'll probably do another one tonight and that'll be another four. 
which will probably take me to 20. I'll probably end up doing 36, maybe even more. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. It's um, I have enjoyed crocheting when I can and even knitting. I have got some knitting on the go that I've got to finish. And uh, we'll talk again next time. And i show you my finished objects and let you know if I've got my stash down again in the next quarter. Okay, take care. Stay safe. Let me know in the comments below or post your pictures on Facebook group and let us see what you're making. You never know. You might inspire me to make another whip <laughs> and start another project. Make sure you at least have one crafty day. It really is good for your mental health. Bye for now.